Hey Artsies, Althea here. So today I'm going to teach you how to paint on glass. Um, like you can see, Matisse took a lot of his outcuts and he uh, put it on onto glass. Um, so I want us to do that as well. So it is the last of Matisse today. So um, stay tuned and let's finish up Matisse. Okay, Artsies, so we had a very creative week. Uh, me and Nicola went to LA. Uh, we're not allowed, really allowed to talk to, uh, about it, but I, what I can tell you is yes, she got cast. And um, she had a shooting week this week in, in Hollywood, which was very exciting. And um, they really treated us very well. And it was really, really amazing. And um, yes, it... Uh, really juiced up my creativity um, but as soon as we can tell you guys anything we will and um, I will let Nicola feature um, she will definitely do some videos with me so you guys can meet her and uh, she's very creative as well and I think you guys will really really enjoy her uh, she's got a very bubbly personality and um, yeah, me and her had lots of fun this week. So, okay, so um, I'm not a very big expert on painting on glass. I'm not gonna give myself out as an expert. I've done it like two or three times in my life. Um, so what I did is because I don't really have a lot of um, colors and paint in my house, I went out and I found this very cool starter kit um, for for painting um, on glass, which I figured what would be a good thing to start with um, because you get like 31 colors plus you get your, um, I did take it out of the bus, the liquid lead um, that would give you that same, um, the liner that you're gonna use to um, outline. So you're gonna start with that and then you will fill in your colors. Um, so yeah, and what was nice about this one, they even gave us like a sparkling one, which is there. So we're gonna use that. And um, I will give you the link. I saw you can buy this on Amazon as well, the starter kit. Um, and yeah, we can try it out. And then I will tell you what I think about the quality and stuff. But I think this is a good starter kit for anybody that wants to try it out at least um, and start painting on glass. Um, I was thinking of doing my cutout um, and putting that on glass. I might do that um, on my own time a bit later, um, but I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna do a very simplistic one with you guys so you can see and then later um, in the week I will um, do the one that I did the cut out of my own Matisse basically so I will do that one and then you guys can see what I did there but for now for teaching purposes I'm going to do a very um, just very plain one and um, yeah just for exercises sake and then um, We'll see how it goes. So let's start painting, I'm excited. Okay, Artsy, so let's begin. So remember to always, um, you have to clean your glass with an alcohol. I've got these alcohol wipes in the house, so I just quickly cleaned my um, my glass with alcohol. I, I have seen other YouTubers that um, actually do use like window lean or something like that to clean their glass. So I'm, I suppose that can work. Um, and then the other thing is you have to put your design, um, a very basic design on a piece of paper. Uh, you put the paper underneath your glass. Um, and then um, 
yes, you have to work from what is further away um, all the way down. You cannot start here and work up because then you're going to smudge your paint. So I'm going to start right there um, and start putting in. So I'll just test on a paper how my, oh, I'm going to start with my outliner, obviously. Um, sorry, I did not say that. Um, so I'm just testing my outliner here. Okay, so I see what it does. So I'm just going to put it on exactly where I did on my drawing. You can always like, I've got some earbuds here just to make it a little bit like here. Yeah, I'm not happy. So let me just go over. If you really go into gloss painting, um, you do get special um, heads with special points for, um, for this. Then you don't need to use this thick. Um, you get them that's very, very... Um, small and thin which I think would work amazingly especially if you want to do more detail kind of stuff and that's also one of the reasons I decided not to do my outcut my outcut ha really needs I think something with a little bit more thinner so I'll see if I can find that um, and yeah, now I understand. You always work away from yourself. And you you must remember it has to connect. There mustn't be like gaps there. So I'm struggling a bit with this thick, I uh, must say, outline. But I think if I, we are patient, we're going to get there. So let's see what happens. Just remember, um, you don't want gaps because you're going to fill that part with um, a specific color um, so you don't want the gap there because then your color is gonna flow over come on Let's can definitely see the benefit of um, getting that tool to put on your caps and make it much more thinner um, because you you do not get your lines so nicely as you would like them to be um, if you don't Remember, you have always, you have to make like a dad, almost like a, a wall um, because you're going to fill that area with a color and you don't want little gaps there. So you have to really make sure that you don't have the gaps um, in between your, your sections. Like, yeah, I really have a gap. So that's definitely going to overflow. So um, just make sure you don't have that. And like here in the ends, at the ends, I'm just going to put this um, so that my color don't overflow. I'm going to put another leaf here to make it a little bit more interesting. I must say that this is, this liner really is not my friend. Um, it does not work easily. Um, so I would definitely, if I wanted, if you really want to do this, um, I would definitely get that thinner that the tools the right tools to to do the, to do your outline specifically um, I'll fix the lines now you um, it has to dry a bit so um, I'm gonna let it dry as well and then after it's dry um, I'm gonna paint it Um, okay, now that I have um, set it and left it to dry, uh, we are ready to paint it. 
Um, I must say this stage is actually an interesting stage for me because um, a lot of YouTubers actually differ in this stage. Some say you cannot use a paintbrush, others say um, they do use paintbrushes. So yeah, for me this is an interesting stage. But okay, we're gonna trial and error now um, and see what works for us. So this for me is like, I'm gonna treat this as water. These are gonna be my a water lily um, with my a part of my water lily. So the leaves of the water lily are gonna be green. These I wanted to do blue, but I'm gonna do different, um, like a marble effect on the, on the water. Um, so yeah, let's see what I can do. Maybe do a little bit of a reflection here. So, okay, I'm gonna start with um, a, a little bit darker blue for shading. Uh, let's see, here we have it. Ooh, is it all connected? Oh boy, Artsies, I'm gonna have to cut this. I think else I'm gonna have to open all of them. Yeah, I think I have to cut them. Just give me a sec, I'm just gonna cut these so to separate them. Um, so just give me a sec. Uh, sorry about that, I just want to cut them because else everything is just gonna be open. So first I'm just gonna mix it a bit. Um, well, it seems like it's very okay so I'm just gonna like do a couple of thicker kind of dots here um, where I want my darker color to be just a kind of dotty there um, and on this side here as well like shading, bringing in a little bit of shading. Okay. It is water base. Um, your paint um, is water base. So now I'm just going to use like um, a normal blue color. Now I've got the scissors because if I open one, it will all of them open, and I don't really want that. So let's see. I paint. Let's see if I can use the paintbrush for this. I don't think you can. I don't know. Okay, let's see what happens. Almost seems like I'm making it too thin with the paintbrush. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of this blue in the areas in between this darker color. And then I'm going to use this tool that they do give you. It's like a little spoon there. I'm just, I'm just going to do this, like make little eights. So I have the darker color mixing a bit there with like a marbling effect. Okay. This is quite interesting for me. Um, so I'm just basically dabbing the paint on at this stage. Um, with the paint brush. Maybe mix them. I'll maybe come back and after I put this blue in and bring 
little bit more of the dark in just doing that figure eight again just to make sure I have that darker effect there um, but okay while I'm putting this blue in I'm just gonna forward the video um, so I will not stop the video so that you can see what I'm doing but um, yeah I think I'm just gonna forward the video while I'm putting this in um, okay I'm just filling in um, all different blues for the water at this stage um, and I'm trying to remember um, I see I've got a little gap there but I also see it dries it already starting to dry they said it like takes like seven hours to dry but I mean in the corners there it's like already drying so that this is gonna be so interesting if it dries um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep on doing the blue, so I will forward um, the video while I'm doing the blue. interesting enough for me um, is the consistency of the paint that I use is used in that ring is so much nicer than the consistency of this this paint and it's actually in the same row so it's supposed to be apparent according to the box the same kind of paint but I don't know it's really a big difference in the consistency between the two um, paints so I don't know um, I love the consistency of that paint I must say if all of them are like that <gasps> that would be awesome this one's consistent this one makes bubbles the whole time so this is a weird little dude um, now I have to do that whole thing because that's basically the same one so um, yeah I might like end up bringing some other colors in here and if you go over the black lines here and there I see they say it's okay because you can go over the, you can do, redo your black lines again uh, where you you can do touch-ups with that um, so they say you don't need to worry about it um, because you can touch up the black lines after you're done um, which I would probably have to do because I mean look at me I'm like all over the place yeah I mean art is supposed to be fun and I'm definitely having fun painting this with you guys so. okay now I think I need to bring in that darker color here and there moving on to the wings i'm gonna do the wings now so uh they gave me like this um these two the one is glitter and the other one is like almost it looks almost like what you would find uh what a dandelion's wings would actually look like so I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna put it on solidly, I think. Oh, it does actually look like it's glitter. Oh, I've got the glitter one. Number two is glitter. Um, okay, let me see this one. Okay, it looks totally white, but according to the box sample, it does not dry white. So let's put this in for the wings. 
it looks like it makes like a little crackle if it dries so I hope it does because then it's really gonna look great for the wings because you know their wings always looks like they looks like it, there's a little bit of a I don't know how to say it crackle on it so okay I really hope it dries like this Okay, now I'm going to start with the flower. I choose a, like a pinkish kind of color. Um, I'm going to put that in. I'll probably put some dark in uh, where, the f where the petals connect with each other. say I um, this w this has been really interesting for me I just want to put this here Got so much left on my brush I don't want to waste it I do want to put a little bit of dark color uh, let me see if I put the number what's this number five so I want number four in and maybe we must put some glitter in just to taste that glitter out what do you guys think mm. Okay, so I'm finished with the painting. I'm a bit worried because these here is drying so light. These areas there, I don't know if you guys can see, but there, it, uh, that I cannot almost see that. It almost looks like I didn't even put paint there, but I can see it on there that there is paint. But sure, it's like, it's so light. I don't know if I'm gonna like that and I was actually excited about this but yeah let's leave it to dry and uh, come back and see what it looks like I don't know if you can I hope you guys can see um, I wonder what you're thinking let me like move it for you guys like this just move it around a bit so you guys can see I don't know what you're thinking about I think it could be interesting if it dries um, well we will ha have to wait and see I used an old frame um, the glass of an old frame uh, to do this on um, so okay so let's see how it dries and what happens I see this leaf already is drying I hope you can eventually see the difference in the different kind of blues and um, Seven hours later. So, okay guys, now it's dry. I put it in a frame and I set it 
uh, against my window here so that you guys can see so um, I don't know what to say um, I quite like certain areas of it um, I definitely have to improve on my technique um, on the painting okay so like I said I really I think I just need to work on my technique like here it's a little bit thick for me and here I wasn't consistent in uh, putting it on so it's a little bit um, thick and then too thin so I really need to work on my consistency at some some spaces but the wings really turned out nice I don't know if you guys can see but okay let me bring it a little bit closer and then I'm gonna put it on a let me put it on on the white sheet so you guys can see better then so yeah look at that like look at the uh, can you guys see the um, the sparkle that I did that really looks good and then I really like this area here especially when you put it in the window it really looks like water um, so yeah look at that you guys so this was so fun so yes can you imagine doing your outcuts like this this is gonna be so amazing so I'm gonna work on my technique um, I'm gonna do another one and then I will definitely show you guys that and then um, as I practice and I learn some new techniques I will definitely show you guys that but I really think it turned out not too bad I'm not super happy but I mean you can definitely see I mean look at these wings you guys they just absolutely if you pick it up can you see that shine on it doesn't that look just amazing well yeah well okay well if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah don't forget to hit that little bell so that you guys don't miss it when I post new videos and um, yeah have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week bye